can't tell me nothing. I will literally rip your head off. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Mo. I really do appreciate you joining with me and coming to hang out with me. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. I am going to be doing a fall self-care, fall hygiene type of video. And you already know I had to be prepped and ready for this new season. Fall is my favorite season of all time. I love autumn. I love the changing colors of the leaves. I love when you get to throw on your favorite sweater, your favorite sweats. Cue the sweater weather music. Already tell I'm so excited if you haven't watched my last video I actually did a fall decor romanticizing fall getting a new book and like building out healthy habits I will leave the link up here for you to check it out so yeah today is a whole new day kind of like a secondary I want to say like oomph to the fall preparation today is the first day of fall you guys it is September 22nd and I'm so so excited I'm running out of a lot of products and I really do want to try new products I think just buy new products I don't know what it is it's like uh my serotonin levels are just you know what I mean I think oops let me put that on mute because no one can bother us today i've been holding off on getting any starbucks drinks you guys because i'm like i need to wait until fall gets here let me just check out what kind of fall drinks they have right now fall flavor favorites that is a tongue twister that's fff there is the pumpkin spice latte pumpkin cream cold brew they also have ice pumpkin cream chai tea latte that is a mouthful. The iced apple crisp oatmeal shaken espresso. And the last one is an apple crisp oatmeal macchiato. I'm not really feeling the apple crisp because I don't I don't really know what that is. So if you guys do know what apple crisp means, please leave a comment down below. Does it taste like apple? Because if it does, I hate fruity drinks and I cannot imagine how it tastes like in my coffee. Let's stick with the pumpkin stuff. I don't know about pumpkin spice because I don't really like spicy drinks. Girl, I don't know. Okay, someone has their leaf blower outside. Whatever, it's fine. And I'm so sorry for the noise. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna flip a coin. If it's head, we'll go iced pumpkin cream chai tea latte. If it's tails, we'll do the pumpkin cream cold, cold brew. Heads or tails? It's heads. All right, so what we are gonna be doing the pumpkin cream chai tea latte. I just need to grab my bag. I'm wearing this super cute Steve Madden bag. I get so many compliments on it. I am thinking that I'm gonna pick a Target that has an Ulta. I just think it's easier instead of going to like both Target and Ulta afterwards. The nearest Target that I know, it's about 20 minutes away. It's actually in my best friend's city. Thank you. Oh my god oh my god oh my god i don't know why i'm so nervous i i really want this to be like a good drink you know let me let me stir it up a little bit it literally tastes like a creamy pumpkin pie so i should have gotten the cold brew with pumpkin cold foam anyways i will catch you guys when i am parked at target <laughs> All right, I'm pulling into the Target parking lot. I realized that I didn't bring my tripod and maybe it's a sign because I'm still trying to build up that confidence, you know, going out and filming. It's just like, I get so nervous. I feel like if I'm, you know, holding a camera out and people are walking by, I'm gonna be like stuttering or like hiccuping and I don't, I don't wanna do that. everything so we are gonna start from our face body our poom poom area and then our feet okay so that you guys can kind of like get a gist of what i do for each part of my body the first thing that i got for my face is this foamy gel balancing cleanser it has kombucha and then it also has ceramides so we love our ceramides my skin usually like loves it my skin is very dry a season change is definitely when my skin starts like really acting up but i love that it's vegan cruelty free and fragrance free because my face if i put a 
lot of fragrance on it. Dude, it does not like it. And I love the bottle. It is a pretty matte bottle. The color is just so cute, you guys. I think just having like cute products makes you want to do stuff even more. I also picked an SPF. This brand is Kapari. So this is a Sun Shield Soft Glow Daily Face SPF 30. Even though it's fall season, you want to make sure that you have SPF so you don't want those wrinkles, you don't want those sunspots. And I've been starting to get a couple of freckles. So I want to make sure that I am doubling up on my SPF and making sure that I reapply. That's the part that like always gets me. I always forget to reapply. And of course, fragrance free. And to stay on that trend for SPF, I got a Aqua 4 Lip Repair Stick. This is usually like one of my favorite moisturizing chapsticks. Like I always come back to this brand, especially in the fall season. You know, your lips tend to crack. My lips kind of peel sometimes too. So those are the three things that I got for my face. Before we move into the body section, I will talk about these two items because I feel like this is kind of like in between. You can use this for your hair and your body. I don't want to butcher it, but I think it's called Frenchie. Maybe it's Frenchie. I don't know. You guys have seen this all over TikTok. I am sure. You know what? I'm going to spray it right now. Perfect. It smells so good, you guys. This one is cashmere vanilla, and this is obviously a hair body, and this is actually a linen mist. The bottle is super cute and super trendy. I also love the color so much that I decided to pick up a second bottle, but this is actually an oil. So this is a body oil. This is a hair oil. It comes in like, um, what is it called? Like a dropper. Definitely picks up quite a bit. It's very, very subtle, actually. I thought that the smell would be a lot more intense. I wouldn't say that this is a lightweight oil. Definitely feel the residue of the oil, which is perfectly fine. Maybe I'll just give it until this end of the video and I'll see how it feels. Let us move to our body. The first and only tool that I picked up was this Equal Tools Dry Body Brush. I believe I learned this from Korean culture that you used dry brush just to um, do lymphatic drainage, renew that skin, exfoliate all that this is actually like pretty soft compared to what I assumed that it was gonna be you typically use this before you shower for a deeper exfoliation you're supposed to brush it upwards towards the heart and I think that that just has to do with like the blood flowing and the lymphatic drainage and stuff like that for those girlies that are gaining a little bit of weight that are hitting it hard in the gym like to avoid some stretch marks even though a little bit is cute I would recommend this for you in the brand Kapari I got a sun shield body glow spf 50 so this is 40 minute sweat and water resistance i got this because every afternoon or every evening actually i go on walks with my dog although i use sunscreen on my face my neck and my hands i forget about my body and i feel like this is definitely going to remind me because this bottle is not that inexpensive this was in the ulta section it was about like 40 dollars. so i walk about I would say 3.2 miles per hour. So if you guys do the math, it's not really like a chill walk. It's, you know, a rigorous walk. So I definitely do sweat a lot at the end. And then of course, we're going to have to move on to our body wash. So this is Natrium. I hope I said that right. This is to gently exfoliate, resurface, review smooth and softer skin. And this is of course fragrance free. A couple months ago, I switched to a clean um, body wash and I found a pretty good rated Amazon one which was this one but I didn't know that they actually sold this in Target and I didn't know it was actually very popular after I had used like half the bottle I was like oh I love how this is making my skin feel because before that I was kind of using like really cheap body wash products like two or three bucks like I wasn't even it wasn't even a big deal to me until like I was really like starting the research of like clean products clean ingredients and just making sure that you're not putting so much chemicals in your body and you're really being mindful of it so I pick that up and then I believe the last thing that I got for my body care is this Kapari performance deodorant um, 24 hour protection it was this one and then the other one but I think the other one was just a regular deodorant this is 24 hour protection I get compliments of how great I smell and that's because I am so like on top of the bo sense like i just can't like the moment that i smell something i'm like time to go home talk to you guys later i need a shower like i'm just out like i i can't like it makes me so so uncomfortable and oh i have is actually the tree hut 
sugar scrub, I always pick something of this nature up. You want to make sure that you're exfoliating your skin. I shave quite a bit. So of course, some parts of your body grows hair faster than other parts. The parts that grow the fastest is my armpit and my lower half of my legs. So like kind of where my shin is, where my calf is. I am notorious for not getting ingrown hairs. I love it. And then I want to talk about my hands. I picked up three things for my hand, you know, hygiene and self-care. If you don't already know, and I'm looking straight at you, COVID is coming back. Re-upping on my hand sanitizer, and this one is the Dove Nourishing Hand Sanitizer. So I decided to get like one that's moisturizing, just because hand sanitizers can sometimes be drying. Lavender is my favorite scent, so I got one that's lavender and chamomile, and it smells great. And of course this is antibacterial just to re-up on that moisturization i got this vaseline hand lotion i don't usually keep hand lotion on me but i think i should my hands be getting really really dry throughout the day i especially like this one over the other hand lotions because you know as you're putting on hand lotion you are touching and putting a little bit on top of your cuticles on top of your nail bed so this one actually strengthens your nail beds and your cuticles and actually makes them stronger and i have very like brittle very weak nails because of you know acrylic nails and whatnot so i think that this is going to be really really good for me and i can't wait to test that out and then the last thing is i haven't purchased this since last fall so i think that this is perfect this is the baileys and harding goodness hand wash this is in the scent i don't know what the first word is weed cedar and amber y'all definitely have to try this out this is so so good i love the aesthetic that it brings into my bathroom especially during the fall season i know i got a lot of stuff but bear with me we are now going to be working on our poom poom area our little girl just to make sure that she is good set and ready the next couple of things that i got is from the same brand the honey pot company a couple years ago i spent a lot of time at target just in like the feminine section like revamping kind of like my feminine care and feminine and hygiene and i came across this brand it was actually pretty new i like this brand because it's made by women you don't have men playing around with chemicals this one is the soothing lavender vulva cream so you actually put this outside of your v like i said i have really like sensitive skin my girl down there is pretty sensitive too especially after y'all get what i'm saying after the activity it gets a little bit irritated and i think it's because of the stretching usually it goes away after like a couple of hours i realize that sometimes it is very irritating and like sometimes i don't even want to walk for a little bit like i don't want to be like causing any friction on it so i think using this the day after the activity it's a great addition to my feminine care i haven't seen this yet and i don't know if it's a new product but yeah i'm really excited and hopefully my skin actually likes it and i don't get like a reaction from it you know the next thing i got was sensitive wipes from the honey pot i usually like to get these wipes because if you guys can see this is actually a pretty small item i actually like keeping this with me as i'm going to different places like going out to eat i'm going to my friend's house all that stuff i want to make sure that i have you know disposable wipes just in case of anything you know i'm doing my business or whatever like i always love a good wipe i think that's a really good step for you guys to strengthen your feminine hygiene and then i re-upped on my honey pot sensitive foaming wash this has a ph balance of 3.5 to 4.5 which is perfect for your little girl this is gentle and non-irritating i didn't want to try the other ones i wanted to get the fragrance free one literally this is so perfect you only pump it three times making sure that your hands are clean of course and then you just wash all the way through make sure that you guys get your behind too don't forget. And then I got some boric acid. For some of you guys that have never heard of boric acid, my best friend actually put me on. This is kind of like a disclaimer. If you are experiencing odor or kind of like an unbalanced really frequently, you might want to see your doctor before you, you know, go to this for a solution because you might be experiencing maybe a yeast infection or bacterial vaginosis. I would really consult with your doctor before you try any like medicine or supplements, you know, anywhere. 
but I haven't tried this brand. I tried a Boric Life brand from Amazon. I'll leave a photo right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I gravitated towards this because it is woman owned. So you already know what it is. This is the educational part. A men's pH and his sperm, when it enters your body, it is going to disrupt your pH balance because theirs is completely different. We are more acidic. Condoms irritate me quite a bit. I personally, um, you know, we do it without one because that works for our relationship. I am on birth control. Anyways, that's kind of like a TMI. But what I do is I just pop one of these inside after your activity, right after you cleanse, go to sleep, but make sure that you put on a pad. By the time it hits morning and you're doing your business, after a couple hours, you're fine. Nothing else comes out. What it basically does is just rebalance your pH and then it really like cleanse everything and just you know get rid of all the nasties that men have literally they have cooties and you got to take care of that so i am on an iud as my birth control i've been on it for like six years now so my period is pretty regular but my period is very light like i only use liners i don't typically use pads at all this is my favorite go-to brand for liners this is 100 pure cotton and this is the ultra thin liners it's great to wear a liner when you're going to the gym and you know like leggings and you want to wear your thong making sure that nothing is showing making sure that it's seamless i always put a liner on top just in case of any discharge you're not messing up your gym leggings you know what i mean and i probably run through this box within a year that's how long it takes me to run through tampons this is the 100 organic cotton core tampons same brand this is pretty much gonna last me a very very long time since i am on the iud of course that is it when it comes to my feminine hygiene and then i picked up this super huge therabreath at my typical target they don't actually have this large size so i'm really excited for it this is the therabreath anti-cavity oral rinse a couple of years ago i actually switched to therabreath and i switched from I think it was like Crest or Colgate or something like that. I didn't feel like it was giving me that freshness of breath, especially morning breath. And so I switched to this and I never went back, you guys, because this is non-burning. It also strengthens your tooth enamel. So I had very weak tooth enamel, probably from all the coffee that I've been drinking since I was young. That's how you combat all of that by getting a mouthwash that actually strengthens or like a toothpaste that actually strengthens your tooth enamel. So I didn't get a toothpaste today, but the one that I really like is Sensodyne. And then the two things that I got for my foot care. The first thing is the Dr. Scholl Severe Cracked Heel Repair. After wearing all those sandals, all those heels all summer, my feet need some refreshing. Any type of balm that I use for my feet, I usually put it on after I shower. I put it on and then I wear some socks and then I jump into bed and I fall asleep. The morning, take off the socks. By then, it's all absorbed inside. So I would recommend that tip. The other thing that I got is from Emope this is a foot file so i guess before i even put on that i'll probably use this the one that i got is number three so this is for extra coarse very hard skins but they have different levels you guys so if you want a more gentle one they have level one level two and then if you of course want a harsher one then they do have level four and then the last two things that i got these are supplements you guys have seen the Bloom brand. This is the greens and superfood. This is actually helping with digestion, bloating, some energy, which is great because if I can take out as much caffeine from coffee, I will. But this is the strawberry kiwi flavor. I think it's super cute bottle. It is a little bit small, but it does have 25 servings in it. It probably lasts you about a month if you're using it regularly. And then the second thing I got is from Goli. So this is a PMS relief gummies. I usually like pills. I don't really like gummies that much because like my braces and like the chewing and it, it just gets stuck in my teeth but i will sacrifice it for some type of like i guess regulation for my irritability or my mood swings and especially the breast tenderness like y'all it feels like i just hit chest day from the gym sometimes i have heard good things about it so i have great expectation for it but basically you just take two gummies daily and i am not gonna use this just when i'm on my period i'm gonna use it a couple days before and a couple days after because I noticed that five 
to three days before my period i start feeling very irritated like you can't tell me nothing i will i will literally rip your head off so you know i'm trying to be on that cool calm and collected era for the fall season but all of this costs a pretty penny i'm not gonna lie to you guys i spent about 400 dollars. of course you guys don't need to spend this much and there are obviously other affordable great items you can go to walmart you can go to taller tree just to get them but i wanted to show you guys what a typical target like refresh run this is like a really big haul for me like as an emotional thing you want to make sure that your physical side feels up to the season as well and feels refreshed please leave a comment down below if you guys actually do use some of these items i would love the community feedback to see if the picks that i got were good anyway so thank you guys so much for watching this week's video if you haven't already subscribed please do i do upload a new video every week i will see you guys in my next one bye